now nice and easy now that's a freaking 36 37 incher man I mean, Jesus. Please let me get this thing in. I don't know if it's gonna fit the D8 in place. What is up guys, it's Thomas Massa coming at you with another wannabe outdoors video. Part two to our lake trout video. Uh, as you saw at the end of the last one, I never would have guessed that I was gonna go back there again and catch fish, but it happened. Um, I went back literally the next morning. It was uh, daylight savings time, and I got there an hour earlier because I forgot that daylight savings time was happening. So I got, I meant to get there an hour before the sun came up because those fish are biting it early in the morning. And I got there, an hour before that due to the time change so i was there in the dark for about an hour and a half an hour and 45 minutes and uh it ended up paying off big time because i caught all of my fish before anybody else was even out on the lake so sometimes getting out of bed early pays off hope you guys enjoy the video guys we're hooked up in the dark Trying to keep that front eyelet from freezing up right now. Just when you think you're making a little bit of headway. I can feel the line sliding on something again, man. He's fighting funky. Oh, he's right here, he's right here, he's right here, he's right here. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Right here. He won't turn his head up. Here we go. He ran down there and got us stuck in that moss, man. Not a giant, but what a beautiful fish. There's not even anybody else out here on the lake yet. It's a fish, man. But he just calm down, you'll be back soon enough. Pinch that tail. I'm seeing oop nose, nose touching. Just shy of 27. Nice fish. Get you guys a nice look at him there. Here, get that phone out of there. So maybe you can use the phone to help brighten him up a little bit. What a fish. Pinch the tail at 27 inches. What a fight. Gotta get back there. I'm sure there's more. Nice little release on him here. He had us down there in the weeds, man. Down he goes. Let's freaking go, baby. Well, guys, we're hooked up again. Literally just cleaning out my rod tips. That's all I was doing was... I literally had... The the rod, the very last eyelet in my mouth because I was just about to get it cleaned out. I cleaned out all the other ones. He's doing all kinds of crazy stuff. You see the rod tip moving like that, man? He's like a big fish, man.
They're so heavy, so strong. Oh, I should really probably retie leaders after this. This one's starting to look a little beat up, man. You hate to hook like a 36 incher and lose him because you ain't gonna lose a 27. You would lose like a 30 plus if you were gonna lose one. I see we're on leader now. Face the other way, let go, let go, let go. Looked like another stud, I'm not gonna lie. There's the leader right there. Oh, head up into the hole. It's a freaking stud. Come here, man. There he is. Yes, sir. That's another giant. Another freaking giant. Face on. Head's clearly on the front of the board. We'll call him 30 on the nose. What a freaking fish. Hey, look at that thing. This is the widest my damn hand is. Smoke another 30 inch. Let him go real quiet like. Get back to our spot out there. Thank you, buddy. We are hooked up again. I have to say this for now. It's real big right now. Still not quite sunrise yet. Yeah, right, let's turn around and get a nice, pretty, pretty view of this fight. Hopefully, I can pick some right up on the GoPro. We had him probably three feet down. We let this back down a ways. And this is a stud here. I have not had another fight go over 10 minutes. And we are at, we are now at 10.15. I knew it was a big mark when I saw it. I'm like, wow, that one looks, I mean, even exceptionally bigger than some of the other ones that I've seen. There he is. There's the leader knot. Holy shit, look at that thing. Oh my God. Nice and easy now. Nice and easy now. That's a freaking 30. Six thirty-seven incher man. I mean, Jesus. Please let me get this thing in. I don't know if it's gonna fit through the eight-inch ice hole. Just play him nice and soft right here. Oh my God! 
Look at that! Holy shit! That is a freaking giant! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's a that's a 36, 37. Look at that girth on that side. Holy shit! Holy shit! Look at that thing! He is 34. Nose on, pinch the tail. Decent. Go back. I don't know how much of that you guys could see. She kicked good, straight down, kicking the whole way. I cannot believe that just happened. That is insane. That is absolutely, 100% totally stupid, ridiculous. Guys dream about having leg tragedies. Like the last two days that I've had. Two days, back to back, some of the best fishing I've ever had. I don't even, I don't even know where to start. I mean, it was, it was crazy. It was crazy. To go out there and catch six Lakers in two days and none of them were under 27 inches, I think was the one I caught in the dark in uh, the second day of this video that you just watched. I think he was about 27 inches was the smallest one. And then that absolute giant at the end there, uh, the 34 inches, right around that 12, 13 pound mark. I mean, just a huge fish. Uh, I, I can't thank, uh, thank my secret sources enough for giving me info on the lake, but then just Navionics using the map and using, trusting my electronics to figure out where those fish were. And I, I drilled probably 300 holes in two days, just searching because I'd never been there before. I don't have a spot that I know there's going to be fish. So I just searched and searched and searched and searched until I found them. And I just kept kept moving, kept finding fish. The fish kept moving through different areas. I didn't catch hardly any of my fish in the same spots, but uh, it all worked out great. I beefed up my line between the first and the second day. So I was using 10 pound main line with an eight pound leader. The first day I was using eight pound main line with a six pound leader. I think that definitely helped me the second day, especially because I was fishing a little shallower the second day. And those fish would have been sending me down into the weeds and getting me all kinds of wrapped up. So that definitely helped me on the second day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully we can keep getting videos out for you guys to watch. It's kind of a busy time of the year for all of us with the end of the semester coming up and finals. But we're going to be trying to get videos out for you guys to watch. Uh, so thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.